Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we have some massive leaks to cover right now at FIFA 23 Ultimate Team for content that is upcoming during Team of the Season Ultimate, right? Ultimate Tots is coming this Friday, and some content that's going to come along with that is exactly what we were asking for. GG's to EA Sports, based off these leaks, it might be an insane week of content this next week. And I think we have to start preparing. We got to start looking at the market. Can we start to buy some cards? Can we invest? Because some of these prices on the fodder side of things, since this is an SBC related leak, could be going up very soon. And I think we might have to prepare earlier rather than later. So I want to take a look at that in today's video and how else this might impact the game, especially as we get closer and closer to the biggest week of team of the season with all the best cards back in packs, ultimate Todd. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, straight away, let's look at the leak. This is the post that was made just about an hour ago from FIFA U Team, one of our very credible leak sources. And they say, starting June 9th, which is this Friday when Ultimate Team of the Season is going to be released, they are going to be dropping an end of an era SBC every single day on this game. The only confirmed leak right now is Milner, but... This is giving me flashbacks to the daily icon SBCs that dropped during La Liga team this season, but this could be even better, right? These are players that have left their clubs or have retired recently in the past couple of months. We've been talking about guys like Busquets, Jordi Alba, Roberto Firmino, and now we've got guys like Benzema and Zlatan that could very easily fit into this end of an era SBC week. There are obviously seven SBCs that are going to drop since it's a week long starting this Friday and there are so many potential players and so much hype around this. Literally, we were saying in yesterday's video and yesterday's streams, we were talking about, especially around the Zlatan end of an era potential, right? How hype that would be. It's the end of the game EA Sports. Just drop an insane set of cards, kind of honoring these guys for their time at the club. It's kind of like the emotional side of playing FIFA, right? These players, it's more than a card, right? Especially for these end of an era items as these players retire. This might be one of Zlatan's last cards in FIFA uh, for a while until he maybe gets a hero or an icon card. You know, Benzema, his last Real Madrid card. Remember, we had these in the past couple of years. We had some insane end of an era towards the end um, of the FIFA cycles. And that's kind of what this is, except it's it's a kind of earlier than it has been in the past too. So this is really, really, really exciting. Insane potential, right? Again, we talked about the big names, Firmino, Zlatan, uh, Benzema. We've already got a Milner that is confirmed. So it's really just the potential here is off of the charts and I hope we see them all and I hope they have juiced stats, right? And I think EA are a bit more reluctant to drop cards like this at this stage of the game. We haven't had too many end of an era cards this year, but the ones that we have had, I guess the only one that I can actually bring to mind right now is Gareth Bale. Uh, that is a card that I think so many people still use in Ultimate Team as a 93 rated card. He was way ahead of his time, still so overpowered in this game. One of the best super subs out there with all the positions that he can play, the stats that he has. So hopefully EA keep up the trend with juiced end of an era cards. Um, and drop a really, really good set of end of an era uh, cards this upcoming week. So there's so much potential with this, and I think we have to start to prepare. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is, remember during La Liga Team of the Season when we had those daily icon player SBCs? We were so excited for all the player SBCs that we were going to see. And in the end, we did have some good ones, right? We had the Ronaldinho, we had Pushkas, we started hot, right? But then we had not the best version of Roberto Carlos, Thierry Henry, not the best version of Jao. We had Makelele Team of the Year and Kuman, and a lot of those ended up being just kind of mid, right? Especially towards the end of the week when we were getting the prime cards instead of the like trophy titans for Javi Hernandez and of course for uh, Roberto Carlos. I think there is a little bit of, I, I guess, we have to be careful just believing that this is going to be an entirely massive week of insane SBCs because, of course, EA is not going to drop a daily player SBC for end of an era cards that are all going to be absolutely phenomenal, right? And I think we see that with this first leak, right? Foot Sheriff has confirmed the Milner leak as well, saying that his stats are predicted. But this, to me, would be a card that might be really good and fun to use, but probably not going to be like that expensive I, I don't imagine ea would juice this card like crazy crazy high make him like club 90 in stats or anything this might be one of those end of an era cards that's maybe like two two hundred fifty thousand coins a little bit on the middle to lower tier that would still be very usable and uh, sbc that a ton of people would complete for sure 
but not like a Benzema, not like a Zlatan or maybe a Firmino card. So also with a Milner, maybe we wouldn't get a Firmino. Maybe they wouldn't do more than one Liverpool player in that week's time. So we'll just have to see. But I would say this, we have high expectations for a Zlatan, for a Benzema, right? We just kind of have to also be aware that there could be some underwhelming cards that are released. And uh, we saw that with the daily Icon SBCs. So with all these SBCs incoming, regardless, we're going to get one every day still. How do we need to prepare for this? Now, we take a look at fodder straight off the bat. And I've been mentioning it in the past couple of days, guys. The high rated fodder is probably near its lowest now, I would have to imagine, as we are kind of nearing the end of team of the season. One thing that happens every year towards the end of TOTS is high-rated fodder goes really, really low during team of the season, right? And it goes crazy cheap because we have all these team of the season cards that come out of the market and they flood the market with these brand new uh, higher-rated cards and it makes all of the gold fodder and other fodder in this game drop right that has happened and now prices have been low for quite some time we've got 88 rated cards that are 15 to 16 thousand coins i mean you guys remember when these guys before team of the season were like 30k right 88s were 27 to 30k and they've been here for now about a month they've been about below 20,000 coins now we did see a nice spike back this week but if you take a look at some of the graphs from last year from here on out, on out it's basically they're going to continue to rise after team of the season ends and uh, we get a lot more SBC content like we're supposed to be getting, I really think there's good potential to see spikes like this continually for the next couple of weeks. Now, I know fodder is up, right? Again, we look at the 88s, they're 15, 16K apiece, 89s are 20,000 coins. They have started to go up in price. 91s, I mean, Benzema, De Bruyne, these guys uh, were 25K, I think, at their lowest. Yeah, during the week last week, now they're 30,000 coins. But I think a lot of this high-rated fodder, specifically the 87s to the 89s, I think is a good look for a potential investment because there's not just end of an era SBCs that would require those cards. I think also we've got better icon SBCs that are out right now. We've got a 90 plus icon player pick that is going to be refreshing on Thursday. It's kind of weird that they're doing it this way, but uh, it's right now set to refresh on Thursday unless EA changed the timer. I'm going to probably get this done here in the next day or two so I can do it again on Thursday. Uh, but if that refreshes on Thursday, that means your high rated fodder would have even more demand with the new season and with rivals rewards coming um, tomorrow on Thursday, sorry, two days from now, today's Tuesday. But that's something that I think we have to get ahead of the curve on as we prepare uh, for these end of an era SBCs as well. I know there's going to be a lot of packs opened this weekend during uh, Ultimate Tots. A lot of people have saved up packs and a lot of people will be opening lightning rounds because it is the best of team of the season, you know? And I think that will draw some people to open FIFA points and it will bring some supply to the market. But if we're getting daily player SBCs, if we have an icon player pick that is out in the game, I really just don't see too much more opportunity for fodder to drop that much lower, right? I do believe this is probably a good time to, at the very least, stock your club with some 87s to 89s. The higher tier TOTS cards, maybe the 90s and 91s, I don't hate those. I think I just like this range better because if there's going to be 87, 88, 89 rated squads inside of these SBCs, maybe if you think about like a Zlatan or a Benzema, they would drop like one really expensive SBC, kind of like they did with the Ronaldinho, and maybe there would be 90, 91 rated squads. I mean, if you think about a Zlatan end of an era, guys, let's be honest, that's the one SBC that we're really excited for. There's probably going to be multiple high rated squads inside of that SBC because it's not going to be a cheap one. His best card right now on the market is the Centurions card, which is tanking in price right now because of this leak. He was 1.7 mil and now he is down to about 1.4, 1.5. Is that what I'm seeing? 1.45 mil. That's a crazy drop. Look, somebody bid overnight at 1.7 million coins on this card, and now they're stuck, right? This is why you never bid on a card that has more than an hour worth and never even more than like 10 minutes worth, right? Because you might get stuck. You never know what happens with a leak that gets posted, and now this card is down 300K, and that guy is kind of like out on his coins, right? And he wishes he would have never made that bid. But, you know, a Zlatan SBC is not going to be cheap. So that's why I think stocking on the middle to high tier fodder is the play. Um, your low tier fodder, probably your 83s to 85s, would be a decent shout as well. But those get supplied more often on the weekend. I think you might be able to wait for those. 
until we get to Friday, until we get to Saturday, which is normally the cheaper times for those types of fodder cards on the market. You could wait for that. Also, that low tier fodder is very attainable through upgrade packs and player picks at the moment, which is super duper nice as well. And uh, yeah, guys, I just think that with this coming out, it's really going to make the focus turn away from cards and packs as well. And it's going to really put a big focus on the SBC content during Ultimate Team of the Season, which is going to drain a lot more coins off of the market as well. So I would definitely club stock some fodder on the higher tier. I think it's probably not going to go too much lower than this. I like 88s under 16K. I like 89s under 20 and 87s at 12K if you can get them there. I think that those are really, really good prices. I think those are going to be in demand. Maybe even 91s if you can get a TOTS card or two at like 27K, like that Odomedi is sitting there at 27. That's not a bad price there, but those are already inflated and rising in price. I would say as well, informs guys we talked about it just quickly earlier in the week but i think it is a really good time to get in on some of these informs 86 87 and 88 rated informs right the reason why i like these is um some of these guys are cheaper than than team of the season cards and they're almost the same rating right 88 rated tots cards right now on the market i believe are 22k all tots cards are 22,000 coins but an 87 rated inform i'm trying to find one right now there's a couple of these guys that have multiple informs here Aspas is an 87 rated inform, 13k. Like that's one I'm gonna. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna sign right now, right? I've got gold cards and putting into upgrade packs, but like 13k, 14k for an 87 rated inform when you have the cheapest team of the season card at 22,000 coins. I think that's a pretty solid investment as well. Um, I know these are 89s, but all these SBCs are requiring a team of the season or a team of the week, right? That's kind of the requirement they're doing right now. And I think that's going to carry over into a lot of these end of an era SBCs as well. So I would continue to stock up on basically the team of the week cards that are closest to discard or closest to their minimum price. You've got 85s that are discard. You've got 86s that are 12K. If you can get those at 11K, pick those up, put them in the club. I think that's more of a longer term hold, but they should go up a little bit this next week. So definitely we are taking a look at the SBC fodder on this game for an investment right now on the middle of the top tier, which we haven't been saying that much recently, right? It's been all about the low tier, then the 83s to the 85s every single week. But now as we end team of the season, I think that focus is going to kind of change as we look towards these big end of an era player SBC season coming. Now you might be asking like, Nate, should I invest in Liverpool players? Should I buy, um, I don't know, maybe a Bobby Firmino has got the, uh, the road to the final card, right? Um, if he's going to get an end of an era or if the Milner card is going to get an end of an era, should I buy this card as an investment because of that Milner coming? And to that, I would say probably not because, uh, or if you wanted to look in, into some more recent cards, like maybe you're looking at a Leal or somebody to link to a Zlatan, I would not buy any links to any players that are going to be getting a um, end of an era SBC right now. I would not because again, what do we think about this market? If the SBCs are going to be insane, that are dropping, if there's a lot of hype for those and we still have a lot of panic selling to come with ultimate team of the season and a lot of prices on this market definitely going to drop. I would not be out here trying to buy uh, a, like a Salah card that would link to the Milner if you're a big time Liverpool fan. That's stuff that I would not be doing right now. Um, but I would say continue to put those cards on your watch list, maybe into next week as SBCs are dropped, as the market's probably going to be uh, further down in price towards that time, then you could be looking into a few of those things. So that's kind of the news today. I don't want to belabor this point, but it is really, really hype. And I hope EA do the business. Drop down below in the comments what type of end of an era cards you would like to see. I just hope that EA, like, don't hold back. I hope we get this Zlatan. I hope we get the Benzema. I hope we get the Firmino and all of those amazing cards that we want to see with juiced stats, good ratings, and watch out for more leaks. Like right now, FIFA U team has only posted these three guys, Milner, Benzema, and Zlatan. Milner's the only confirmed one as of right now, but keep an eye on their Twitter because these guys seem to be almost faster and better leakers than Foot Sheriff. Just keeping it a buck because yes, Foot Sheriff did post this, but they posted all of this info and, and they have been spot on. They haven't missed unlike anything uh, in the past couple of weeks. So that's kind of what I would watch out for. But this is big time hype and it really could mean a nice, nice week and a very exciting week of ultimate team of the season upcoming. So if you're excited for that, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a Twitch stream or a video soon. Links are down in the description. Check those out. It's been Nathan for the count and see you later. Peace out.